Hi guys and welcome to All About The Philippines. This is a question I've been asked many times by my subscribers. So it's when should I build a house in the Philippines with my Filipina? Now we all know that a foreigner can't own land in the Philippines. So the land will be in the wife's name and of course you put a house on it. Well it's on her land so it becomes hers. A foreigner can go and buy a condominium in one of the cities or wherever they have condominiums. You can buy that, but you're, you don't actually own the land, you own the structure. And, you know, who knows about the fees? There's, there's quite a lot of fees that always change on those condominiums, I've heard, where the fees can constantly go up and it becomes quite expensive in some instances. So be very careful if you're getting a condo that you're making sure about the fine print in that condo. But if you talk, we're talking about a house today, when is the right time to build a house in the Philippines with your Filipina? Now, I've heard stories of, of guys, you know, building within three, four months of being with a Filipina, um, even to the point that even a year after they've been married, they build a house, and then a year later, the Filipina wants him gone, and he loses the house. And and, and you know, some of these houses. They could be worth 100 to 150 thousand dollars. A lot of money to lose. So you've got to be really, really careful. Even more so in the Philippines when you're married a Filipina or with a Filipina than what you would in your own country, because at least in your country you've got a chance of getting half of it back through a divorce settlement. But in the Philippines you, you lose 100 percent. You you don't get anything back, and, and unless the the woman you're with is very understanding and kind and wants to split it with you, but chances are that's not going to happen. So the question, when should you buy a house with your Filipina in the Philippines? Well, my opinion, and I'm only giving my opinion, guys, this is my personal opinion, is that I wouldn't do it under five years of being married. I would want to be married to my Filipina wife for five years. So. This is after you, you not not knowing her, so you, you know her for whether it's one, two, three, four years, whatever it is that you know her for, then you get married, and then it would be a five year wait to make sure that you trust your Filipina 100%. Um, and of course, you know, still no guarantees, you can still lose out, but to protect yourself a little bit, don't go putting a house on that's going to take all of your life savings. Build, build a house that's maybe a little bit moderate in appearance and size and this is of course that's going to cost you less money so work out what you can afford to lose if that came down to it so that for some people it might be thirty thousand dollars might be fifty thousand dollars whatever whatever you feel comfortable if this doesn't work out in the end so that could be next year 10 years from now 20 years from now how much would you feel comfortable to lose and that's the way you've got to look at it because remember, the house and land is not in your name, it goes in your wife's name. Work out what you can afford to lose, and then and then if, if, it, if it comes down to it and you lose it, you've lost it, well, you know, as in all relationships, all marriages, when they end, you do lose. And if people are gonna jump in there, you know, after a year of being married and they buy a house with somebody, well, you've got no cause to complain afterwards. You, you've rushed in a little bit quick, in my opinion, and, you know, really, why, why do you wanna do, what's the hurry? What is the hurry? A house is a big investment. So what's the hurry? Just take your time. For after five years of being married, you will get a good feel whether this is, feels good or not. If you have any doubts, reservations, then don't do it. That's my advice. So just a quick video on that, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Appreciate your support. Leave your comments below. Let's be respectful. And of course, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notifications on. For more videos share the video around and thanks for watching guys take care and bye for now